What are controls? What are the different types of controls that exist? In this video, we're going to talk all about the different control categories and types that you can implement in your organization. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to smash the thumbs up to like this video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. If you like my training and you want more, check out my website at johngood.com to get access to training courses about distracting interruptions or advertisements. Make sure that you check out my getting started link in the description and sign up for my newsletter to get a free copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. You can also join me on the Discord server. The link is down in the description. All right, let's get into the video. When security policies are introduced, it's simply a way of laying out control objectives that we want to achieve. Controls themselves are specific measures that we use to fulfill security objectives in our organization. And there's three main categories of controls that you need to be aware of. First, we have technical controls that use some kind of technology to protect one or more of the components of the CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Think of something like firewalls or encryption. Operational controls include the processes that we implement to manage various technologies in a secure manner. A few examples include vulnerability management and user access reviews. Managerial controls are procedural in nature and they focus on risk management. These controls can include periodic reviews, risk assessments, and project management practices. In addition to control categories, we have specific control types based on what a control's objective is. So we have preventative controls, which try to prevent something from happening. Firewalls may try to prevent malicious activity. Detective controls identify an event that's already occurred. Intrusion detection systems are one of the better known detective controls because they alert us on attack, but they don't stop it. Corrective controls remediate security issues after they've already recurred, such as restoring a backup on a compromised system. Deterrent controls try to persuade somebody to not violate security policies. For example, security cameras can be used as a deterrent because somebody committing a violation doesn't want to be seen. Physical controls are some kind of physical item, such as a fence or door locks. Compensating controls are used to aid situations where we make exceptions to security policies and they help to reduce the risk of that exception. Putting controls in place is great. However, if we don't actually test our implementations, we're gonna have unknown vulnerabilities that exist. Audits are formal and rigorous tests of our controls. These are typically done by a third party that's gonna document the state of our security. You might actually have been involved in an audit before. Assessments are less formal and they usually are an effort to proactively improve our security. These might be limited to just doing interviews compared to doing exhaustive technical testing. Question of the day. Which control category do you think is the most challenging to implement and why do you think that? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we talked all about the different control categories and types that you can implement in your organization. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without distracting interruptions or advertisements. And I'll see you next time.